Hi, I'm Louise and I was an animator on Conker's Bad Fur Day, a game which starred an easygoing squirrel who happened to have a taste for the hard stuff and some very, very strange friends. But before that, Conker's Day was actually shaping up to be something quite different. Conker's Quest, as it was called way back then, made its debut at E3 in 1997 alongside the first major showing of Banjo-Kazooie. Both Conker and Banjo appeared in Diddy Kong Racing later that year, well ahead of their own adventures. By the time Banjo-Kazooie was released in 1998, Conker's Quest had already gone through its first name swap. 12 Tales Conquer 64 gave a better idea of all the different settings Conquer's adventure would take him through. There was a prehistoric jungle, a gladiatorial arena, and a cowboy frontier just for starters. Most importantly though, there were different hats for each one. And who doesn't love different hats? This is all previously unseen footage from an early build of the game we dug out of the archives to show you how it would have played out. From the start, the game was designed and built on the idea of an interactive cartoon. A lot of work went into giving the characters really expressive faces, with Conker and Barry visibly reacting to the situations they found themselves in. At this point, both our characters were playable. Our hero had his Conker firing catapult, as seen in Conker's Pocket Tales, which was released on the Game Boy Color in 1999, while his world was still relatively sane. As the more hands-on character, Conker also had other tools, including a lasso, a kite, a rocket, and a unicycle. Because why not? Barry, on the other hand, preferred to make use of the critters she found and rescued along the way, which gave her journey a very different feel. But they both had to contend with the dangers of the world, including unfriendly oversized acorns. If things got a bit hairy, Conker could also get some distance by running on all fours, like a proper squirrel. Even though this was still early, multiplayer was already built into 12 Tales. In co-op, one player could play as Conker's little owl companion, or you could even play four player split screen deathmatch, but without the death. The game went into hibernation when the team decided it needed to take on a new angle in order to compete with the growing number of 3D platformers that were emerging on the market, not least of which was Banjo-Kazooie. Some elements like the speech bubbles, the scarecrow, the arena and the windmill were kept in one form or another. But when it finally re-emerged in 2001 as Conker's Bad Fur Day, things were very different. And the innocent little fella from Diddy Kong Racing and Conker's Pocket Tales was all grown up. But that's a tale all of its own. Like and subscribe for the cuteness, then continue the Conquer theme with a Bad Fur Day multiplayer breakdown. Or you could take a look at the making of Banjo Tui. Meanwhile, Conquer's Bad Fur Day is playable right now in rare replay for Xbox One, with a making of video screwed away in there for good measure.